In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you the new best mine core, will and experience farm in this game. An all-in-one run which rewards you mine cores of plenty and at the same time, you get around roughly 6,000 will and over 5,000 experience. And no, this isn't on New Game Plus. If it was, these gains would be even crazier. This one you don't want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so messing around as you do, I stumbled upon an incredible Black Myth Wukong farm, one I've seen no one else cover, never mind mention. So if you need those mine cores, if you need that will and other materials, this one is definitely for you. As a combined farm, I haven't seen any better in the game. Okay, so this takes place within chapter 4, and it takes place from the relief of the Fallen Loom Shrine upon the webbed hollow. If you haven't found this shrine yet later on in the video and timestamp down below, I'll show you exactly where this is located, as well as other items you can use to make this farm even better. Now in regards to requirements for this, the last section uh, where you'll get over 2000 will and experience requires the Ashen Slumber Transformation. The part beforehand though, uh, where you get those mine cores just requires you to have skill, simple as that. So from this shrine guys, this is what you need to do. You're going to take a route and take out 5 of those beetle type enemies, all having a high chance of dropping you those mine cores. I was getting most of the time 1 or 2 per run doing this with runs taking a couple of minutes if that. So from this shrine guys follow this short path here to the first beetle enemy and take him out. Now upon you taking this enemy out, follow the path I take on screen now to the second one and again guys, take him out. From here guys, follow the short path I take to where three more of these beetle enemies are located. Here guys, I just ran them up and fight them all at once with my duplicates. Makes it way, way easier. Now upon you taking these out, run into this cave behind you and take out this smaller minion. Then guys, this is where you need the Ashen Slumber Transformation. But first, trigger your Collide Step, uh, run across this bridge, get into the middle of it and from here guys, use that transformation and then quickly de-transform to take out all these spiders with that explosion. This is where you earn tons of wooden experience. Now if you don't do it this way, there's a high chance they will just knock you off to your death. So once you are done here guys, fast travel back to that shrine using your talisman, rinse and repeat the run, simple as that. Okay so there are items you can get in this game which will make this better in regards to buffs to will, experience and items dropped from enemies. These items are the Gold Flora Hairpin, the Skull of Tail Treasure, the Lantern Holder, uh, the Celestial Registry and the Golden Carp. Now I've already made a video on where all these are obtained and I'll link that in the video description. Also guys, if you're yet to get the Asham Slumber Transformation, 
I'll also link how this is obtained in the video description. Okay, so how about locating the relief for the Fallen Lung Shrine? Now, to get here, guys, it's quite simple. So from the cliff of the Oblivion Shrine, follow the path I take on screen now. And there you have it guys, the relief of the Fallen Loong Shrine. Once you have it unlocked, you're free to do this run, this farm, so take advantage of it guys. And there we have it for another Black Myth Wukong video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.